Hello, Rowan State. My name is Brian Cross, and today we're going to be interviewing Lindy Whipking, a Rowan State librarian. And so, Lindy, you just want to tell us a little bit about the library? Absolutely, yeah, and thanks for having me here today. Um, so, the Rowan State Library, uh, as you know, we, we do have a building here on the Harriman campus. Um, have you been to the Rowan State Library lately yourself? Uh, yes, I have. Oh, good. What, what did you do when you stopped by? came and talked to you for a oh, okay bit. all right you got me yeah. there well um well that that is one important thing that the library provides um is is uh, the other librarian and i are there for students to stop by and talk to so um so if a student has a research project that they're working on for example got to write a paper for comp one or or any any kind of project that requires them to do research um we encourage students to come on into the library and uh ask to, to speak with me or or any of the librarians and uh, we'll help them with their research help them find you know, books and, and scholarly journal articles and stuff like that. Um, we've also got books that students can just read, you know, for fun, um, as well as uh, collections of uh, streaming video and DVD. If, if anybody's a movie lover, we've got those available. Um, and we've got study spaces for students who just need a, a quiet place to, to review for an exam or finish their homework or anything like that. Um, we've got a quiet study area on the Harriman Campus Library here. Um, as well as some group study rooms. So if you're you know, working on a, a project where you need to collaborate, uh, students are welcome to come into the library and uh, use the group study rooms and uh, use the computers that we have. And also just, you know, if they need a place to, to just hang out for a little while in between classes, that's also a great way to use the library. Are you able to tell me what branches that the libraries are offered on? Absolutely, yeah. So, um, so we, the main campus here um, in Harriman uh, has got the, the biggest library. Um, but we also have a smaller library over on the Oak Ridge campus, um, the, the Coffee Library. And then we've got a smaller, an even smaller library um, on the Scott County campus as well. Um, but we do serve all Rhone State campuses, all locations. Um, so even if you can't make it to any of those three, um, uh, Harriman, Oak Ridge, or Scott, uh, we, can, we can send books to any of the other Rhone State campuses and uh, students there are also welcome to use the library website and use our uh, electronic resources too. Is there a set amount of hours that students can visit during the day? Yeah, um, and those are posted on our website. So if, if you go to the, the Rhone State uh, library homepage, um, we've got our hours listed, which are uh, Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then on Fridays, 8 a.m. to 4.30. Um, that's when the buildings are open and, and students can actually come in and, and talk to us or, or work or whatever. Um, but then on Saturdays, we are, the buildings are closed, uh, but we are available um, virtually. So students can go to the library website and email or, or chat with a librarian online on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. We have kind of moved away from printed books, actually. You know, we used to have a lot more. Now we're down to maybe about 10,000 printed books um, among the three library locations. Um, but online through the library website, uh, students can access electronic books, ebooks. Um, students can access those, and we've got, uh, I would say, well over a quarter of a million ebooks that students can access. Um, and then there's also an ebook collection called Overdrive, um, which is listed right there on the library homepage for students to click on. Um, and of course, if they have, if a student ever has trouble finding a particular ebook or, or books about a topic, um, or, or trouble, uh, you know, just getting the, <laughs> the app to work or something like that, um, they're always welcome to, to contact the library for help. So when I visited the library earlier, when we talked last time, I saw the computers inside. Are those open for students? Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a small computer lab right, right at the front of the library with a printer and scanner and, and copier that students are welcome to use free of charge. Um, and then we've got a computer lab as well up on the second floor. Um, so if you want to get away a little bit from, from the, the noise on the first floor. You can, uh, students are welcome to go upstairs and use the computers there. Uh, and then we also do classes sometimes mm -hmm. on the, uh, in the second floor computer lab. So Landa, you're a published writer? Uh, in, a, in a sense, I am uh, self-published, but, uh, but yeah, I, I do love to read and write. So that, that stereotype of librarians does hold up. Um, and uh, specifically, I, I really like mysteries. Um, and I've read a lot of mysteries. And I've thought to myself, you know, ew, I, I could do better than this, you know, how did this get published? So I was like, hey, that, that could be me. Um, someone could say that about my books. Um, so, uh, so yeah, last year, um, you know, had, had a lot of spare time to, to, you know, work on some different hobbies during the pandemic, like a lot of people. Um, and, uh, and so I, I 
tried my hand at writing a full-length uh, mystery novel called The Murder of Mr. Twist. And I published it on Amazon and, you know, I've made a couple hundred bucks from it. So uh, not, not lighting up the bestseller charts, but at the same time, you know, I just enjoyed doing it and, uh, and it was free and easy to publish it. So, uh, so yeah, I, I, you could call me a published author. I like the sound of that. Lindy, thank you for coming in and answering my questions. Well, thank you very much for having me. I'm uh, glad to be able to tell you more about the library and hopefully get some more students to come and visit the library this semester. Real State students, thank you for watching.